guys, Jared Welch, RacingDudes.com, back for more Breeders' Cup coverage. We are four weeks away, hard to believe, from the Breeders' Cup and uh, final weekend here of Breeders' Cup winning your in preps. And a bunch of these horses that I'm going to talk about are running this weekend. So lots, lots could shake up here with my top five. Um, again, as I say in a lot of my uh, turf uh, analysis, is, is it's still, even four weeks, still a lot of ways to go. For these international horses and who's coming who's going um you know obviously it makes a world of difference if we see an apple b horse or uh, an aiden o'brien horse or something one in these turf races uh as you'll see coming out soon with my 14 trends to the breeders cup uh a little plug there um coming out soon on the website these turf races obviously the breeders cup uh tend to favor uh the internationals coming over so let's look at my top five real quick as we are a few weeks out. Number five, smooth like straight. So three of my horses, my bottom three here, I should say, all running this weekend um, in the uh, Coolmore Turf Mile at Keeneland. This is on Saturday, the Coolmore Turf Mile. It's a big field, so lots could happen. But smooth like straight, he's one of those horses he, he hasn't won in forever. Uh, I think seven straight uh, second or thirds, right? Um, but the horse is always there he's always running these tough right grade one races and always finishing second or third i mean he just you know last time he won was a shoemaker mile um back last year last may so it's been a minute but you know a horse ran third uh last year in the uh or second i should say in the uh in the breeders this rate breeders cup mile so you know, it's like that, it kind of one of those horses that doesn't matter what the race is. A horse is going to run second or third. So Smooth Like Straight certainly deserves to be in the top five. And uh, for that reason, uh, that's where he shows up. Right, let's go number four. And Ivar. Ivar, a lightly raced horse. We've only seen this horse twice this year. Uh, last time out, finished second in the Woodbine Mile. Uh, you know, his story has been just can't stay healthy, can't stay on the track. But if he's in this race here again, uh, like I mentioned in the uh, this Turf Mile, last year finished uh, – Finished third in this Breeders' Cup turf mile, just base blues. And, of course, uh, aforementioned smooth like straight. So Ivar, with a big run here uh, this Saturday, certainly uh, going to propel himself into big discussions to uh, to win this thing this year, the Breeders' Cup mile. Number three, how about Casa Creed? The guy just keeps coming for more. This horse, last time out in the four-star Dave, apparently the mile's okay for him, right? Because he looked awesome. Beat a couple Chad Browns there. Um, you know, back before that one, the Jiper, uh, which was, of course, of course, going shorter. Casa Creed, another horse showing up here in this mile. If he can make um, uh, a nice performance here, you know, obviously makes a case uh, to to, uh, to uh, run in the Breeders' Cup. You know, the finish didn't run well last year when the horse did run in this race. So we'll see. But obviously the horse is running very, very good right now. So Casa Creed, I'm going to put him number three. And I think it's a pretty wide gap now to my top two, especially my first place or first horse here. Number two, though, Kinross, a horse that you may or may not have known or may have heard of. Uh, this horse has been running overseas. Uh, won the last three races, including that last race, uh, the Group 1, Qatar Pre. I'm not going to try to do it. You can look it up at Long Champ. Uh, but it's the same race that Space Blues won last year, heading into the Breeders' Cup. Of course, won the Breeders' Cup miles. So, Kind of looked at that and said, okay, maybe this horse is, you know, coming into this race at the right time with the right kind of um, class. Looked really good, I thought, in that race as well. Ken Ross, go look up that horse, number two. And Modern Games is my number one. As soon as I saw this horse come back and win the Woodbine Mile, I, I mean, I think all of us were like, all right, that's the horse. This horse, of course, won last year at the Breeders' Cup, the Juvenile Turf. And then, of course, no one cashed on him because he couldn't, he couldn't win money on him, which is insane. Um, but he, if, by looking at the records, he won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf, came back again to the United States, list, last race, won the Wood by Mile. Now, if he runs here, it's going to be, he's going to be awful tough, right? He looked awesome. And I think you're going to be able to finally, hopefully cash on modern games in the Breeders' Cup. He's my number one horse for the Breeders' Cup Mile. Let me know your thoughts below. Who can beat him? Who are you looking at in this race this weekend at Keeneland that you might want to put in your top five uh, as we look towards the Breeders' Cup Mile. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit like on this video if you like the content. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for tons more Breeders' Cup coverage coming at you the next four weeks. And make sure you hit that, hit, hit that notification bell 
uh, that way you get alerted. We go live and uh, you don't have to, uh, to wonder. You just get a little notification. All right. Till next time. See you guys.